Hey guys, hope you're doing well out there. This video is going to be a special presentation of the BSL Races Championship Series that Zero and I were doing live on his stream. It's basically a copy of the KCM Race War, with the difference being that it's all foreigner players competing. I'm really stoked that Zero picked up on this format. It's so much fun having no mirror matchups and the King of the Hill format. I really enjoyed doing this and we're going to be doing the finals this week. So pay attention to my community page for an update about that. I'm just going to be showing one game here today. And if you guys want to see the entire video or all the other weeks, just follow the link down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Now let's get into the video. And here we are spawning on Revolver Boa in the bottom left hand corner. The blue Protoss player ready to defend the honor of ire conan here in the bottom right red zerg looking very good the young zerg legend from south america we've got high hopes for this guy yeah high hopes and what, for future right mm, maybe he yes. will get to korea maybe he will join the world in korea in a few years that would be awesome to get more people out there more practice partners for dewalt more people trying to make it into the asl it's got to happen at some point right yeah that's that's the entire goal of mine to be honest to just invest more time into it it would be so great to have finally some foreigner being in the in the asl qualifying to the asl no matter who it will be uh, from the outside korea it would be a it would be a shock, I believe, for the Korean community, and it would be a great thing to, to witness. I'm just wondering why uh -huh. the world is in Korea now, because I assume the ASL should be in like August or something like that, so uh, maybe he wants to stay there longer. I'm not sure. Yeah, I saw on his screen that he was in Korea. I could be wrong, but uh, on his stream, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why he's over there, but uh, best of luck to him and whatever his endeavors are. Here we've got Conan taking a 12 hatch or 11 hatch. Which one was this? I think it was 12, it was 12 potentially. Yeah. It was 12. So that's a Normal. pretty greedy hatch. Oh, yeah. Um, you can get punished by this. Unfortunately, Boa didn't go for a gateway first, but he could maybe go for some sort of cannon rush. A cheeky play here. Um, we've seen Conan before, though. His drone control is crazy, crazy good in getting over these walls. Very quick re reaction from him. Yeah, here comes the drones. He's gonna start hopping them over. He knows the trick. Do you know the trick about how to get these drones over? There's yeah. zero. Yeah, yeah, of course. Pulling out the one drone from the control group and then hopping the rest over. Yeah, it works really, really well. Yeah, yeah. And you just need to clear. use the stop. Uh, stop sign stop and clicking uh, wherever you want to go and it works perfectly every time right and with that the cannon rush is over really no way to punish from here and he will start a gateway uh, after the nexus so no cannon at least but um you know, there's not uh, there's not a lot more that Boa can do. I mean, he'd get really super greedy, take the gas before the cannon yeah. too, but that would be uh, a little bit wild. Yeah, you um, can be punished by it, right? Risk. Even if JD Conan would be making four links, allowing four or even two links into your main base just because you wanted to have the cannon for 10 seconds later, it's, it's not worth it. Um, it's still he will have the money for the uh, for the assimilator and he couldn't build the cybernetic core before the gateway will be finished so i guess this can make perfect sense uh, boa mm. was playing in the bsl i remember bsl 12 or bsl 13 we had it in the in the map pool this map and he was playing back then um so i guess that's why he decided to pick it um, it was a ladder map in a few years ago yeah, I remember this one well. The entrance to the front was a little bit funky. You've got two entrances. You've got the small entrance and the larger entrance with a lot of eggs. It's become kind of a trend here lately uh, in map making. 
is to use the eggs for just about everything, oh, yeah. <laughs> especially to alter the size of ramps um, on some of these different tile sets. Uh, some of the ramps are a lot larger, so you can see he's got uh, one zealot over there at the smaller ramp. As soon as he gets a second one out, this is a complete wall in, so you just can't get anything by here at this point. And the, the cannon is perfectly placed, it can cover everything. Yeah. But uh, there is still opportunities, like you can go for, for instance, a Hydra Bust here, or just like a fake Hydra Bust and kill the wall. You can't defend that wall on the right hand or on the right hand side there, right? You can't send out zealots to stop hydras from hitting that because uh, there's no space. You have to kill an egg yeah. to even get the zealots outside. So uh, there are some things that can be abused here. We'll see if Conan wants to go for any of that. So far, he's gone up to three bays here, and I think I saw another hatchery get added on over at the third there. So he's just going to go for a crisp macro play with that spire coming online here sh shortly and more and more hatches being thrown down. It's looking pretty good here. Looks like we might be in for a nice macro game. Yeah, let's hope for it. They, both of those guys can deliver excellent macro games, so I would like to see it. Um, every time I was facing Bohan Ladder, I was dying to his 12 minute 150 ball of units with four high Templars, both of them with double storm. And it's that's undefendable from my perspective, so I'm looking <laughs> even more curious at what JD Penal will do to be able to to defend it. Yeah, the eight storm is pretty ridiculous when you're uh, you know just getting into lurkers and your hydras are most of what your army is you know what you're fighting with. It's so hard to dodge all of that consistently and the dragoons firing constantly. Uh, layering on that damage with the zealots push forward it's it's a very tough push to stop let's see if conan can make it work um it, not necessarily saying that he's definitely going for this uh, same sort of attack you're saying but it is a very powerful very hard to stop attack i definitely agree with you or do we don't have a plus one weapon for the corsairs so it seems like Boa wants to build a couple of them, like maybe three or four, just to be able to snipe those overlords while attacking with the zealots. Um, oh, and he's going for double DT, but it's not for Dark Archon, it's just for the pressure, but I think JD Conan saw it with the blue org. Yeah, he sees it for sure. Um, really clear, that, or really common that the Zerg player will lose all the lings at the front when the DTs first come out, but you can see Conan on top of everything he sees immediately that this is DT. He's got some mutas uh, in position. One Overlord popping out at the perfect time. Does he have the Scourge in position to help this out? He's got to save this Overlord. The mutas are going to come in here, try to snipe down the Corsairs, but the DTs are doing work right now, killing off a bunch of drones. Needs to focus those down right away. Here we go. He's going to kill off one of them. No, both of them going to escape. There is still one Overlord over here, though. Nice job by Conan popping the overlords out of the right locations to make sure he doesn't lose the vision here and lose control of the space. Yeah, but he badly needs additional drones in this third base. On the other hand, uh, he already has six hatcheries, so it will not take too much time to saturate this base. But we can see Boa already banking energy on those Templars going up to six gate. Um... Well, it's a. Uh... Boa going to regret not getting that plus one here because that's a lot of mutas. Well, just five, actually. I thought there was going to be more added on. He's going to dive in on top of the Corsairs. Here we go. A lot of Scourge coming Ooh. in, getting their connections. All of the Corsairs die. One does pop out at the end there, but the cannon survives. Ah, oh, man. That was, uh, that was very close to Boa losing a lot of probes, but... Um, this is great trading for Conan. Oh, yeah. Uh, even though he didn't get all the probes, I mean, he still uh, kills every single Corsair there. That's that's amazing, just seizing air control here. And it's going to be hard for Bo to move out unless he actually wants to make a Dark Archon now. Yeah, I guess he will have to wait for the round of Goon before moving out because otherwise his storms will be too vulnerable to snipe. Mr. Ras, thank you for the ride, man. Good game versus Artosis, it was close. A uh, very fun game there, thank you Raz. We've got the Mutas here floating around the outside. He's looking for an opportunity to snipe one of these 
uh, Corsairs. He's going to come in for actually a snipe on the Templar, but he doesn't send in the Scourge there. A little bit of a micro mistake from Conan. He could have maybe gotten the Corsair as well as the Templar, but he does get the Templar. And gets out with still a few Mutalists remaining. Those are pretty badly injured, though. They won't be very useful here in the next fight. They're going to go down super, super fast. Uh, it seems like Conan is fully transitioning, though. He's starting to pump out a lot of Hydras. He doesn't have great um, saturation here, though, yeah. at the third base. He's a little bit lacking. Exactly. That's what I was wanted to say, that, that this this part of the Minerals has not been mined. Like, maybe he has a little bit too many drones over here, but still, it would be great to have, like, those extra, like, four or five drones in this base. Uh, his main and natural seems relatively healthy. Um... And I guess he, he, he bought some time with the Mutas as well. Yeah, he bought some time and he got his uh, uh, drones over there to the third now. So it's pretty much saturated at this point. Um, these Mutas are going to be helpful in dealing with the Zealots, but only if they don't get caught by these Corsairs. Some Hydras coming down to meet these Zealots. Uh, looks like he's going to hold this ramp and flank with some more Hydras. No, the Hydras are actually making... Uh, going back and forth here from Conan. This is a great position to take this fight, actually, uh, up on this high ground. The Zealots are not going to get good surface area here at all, and he's even making Lurker Eggs in the front to make it uh, even more impossible to break this. Now Hydra's coming up from behind as well. Going to go after the Corsairs, not going to trap the Zealots here, and a majority of them will escape Boa. Gathering up a large army here, a lot of Dragoons popping out now. Did Conan get enough drones in time, and can he transition now into a big enough Lurker uh, and Hydra army to take on this fight? He's got two Templar moving out with double storm, four storms available. Let's see how this fight goes. We're going to have to see some really good dodges out of Conan. He looks for an opportunity to snipe a Templar, but immediate storm comes out. He's just going to back away. Nice snipe on the Corsairs, only losing a couple of Hydras and getting some key units. Pretty decent here for Conan to start this fight. Exactly. Exactly. Nice, nicely done. Like the, those small, small pokes are backing, uh, buying him a lot of time. And we only have four storm as four storms, as you said, because okay, Boa forgot about the Templar in the main base, which was waiting for the Muta uh, counter attack. And now, uh, hmm. I'm scared. I'm scared for Conan right now. Yeah, he exactly. has some lurkers going, but you can see his bank is really, really high. That's because he got supply blocked very badly by the Corsairs killing off overlords, and uh, he hasn't been able to produce for quite some time. He's starting to spend that money away, but he can't be sitting on 1,400 minerals as the Protoss is moving out with his attack. We we're talking about how strong it was earlier, um, but it's even stronger if you're don't have all your minerals into <laughs> units yeah. uh, when it comes out. You can see Boa spending his money really, really tightly here. So he's got a great, huge army ready to descend on Conan. But where does he attack here? There's a lot of great high ground positions for Conan. Uh, I guess he's going to just run up this ramp here. Let's see if he can make it happen. Yeah, the storms are lagging behind. So those lookers will be able to eliminate those zealots relatively early. But so many goons supporting this army. Still, we have four more storms available. Four more storms available, but this army is a little bit cut off. I see Hydra's coming from every different angle. I, I don't know if he's going to be able to get that evolution chamber or how important that evolution chamber is. It might have an upgrade rolling in it right now, but it might not as well. Um, the Hydra's going to come from north and south here. Another wave of Zealots is coming up to try and help out. But there's still quite a few Lurkers available. I think the Conan, he just needs to gather together a few more waves of Hydras. And he should be able to surround and kill this whole army. Boa is getting a bit trapped in here. He does have some more reinforcements coming down. But the Hydras are going to clear all the Dragoons before they arrive. This is looking very good for Conan. He lost a an extra hatchery here and an evolution chamber. But uh, this fight, I think, is going to be won by him. Good storm on the high ground. Boa... A little bit crazy trying to push into here right now with such a small army. Yeah, but what works for Boa is that he was able to escape with extra base with only one cannon. So he's already mining there. He already added some extra gateways. So we are going up to nine, uh, even ten gateways. One one upgrades versus two, two zero. So upgrades are working in favor of Conan and 
he rebuilded the hatchery over here, so he will have the macro potential. And to be honest, I don't like attacks like this from uh, from Boa. Because yeah, it's likely likely yeah. you're gonna lose storms here. You're gonna lose Templar, and coming up this ramp right now is a little bit wild. We don't have any uh, lurkers here. If there were lurkers, these zealots would get shut down so hard. They do pop out though, and Bo manages to escape before the spines start to hit these uh, zealots here. They are gonna back away. More sunkins coming up. We're gonna go into a late game now, guys. Hive is just about done and. Conan is going to start pumping up Cracklings very, very soon. Yeah, he has. He still has double evolution chamber in the main base, so I assume plus one guy base, plus one melee uh, weapon is, 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 is going up. He already has a decent amount of drones in the top right, so I would say that he has around 60 drones right now. So this is a very decent situation, and we can see that in the supply that they are basically even, which in theory should be better for Zerg. This is going to be a very scary Zerg player here. Uh, really, really soon. Especially once Defilers are out on the map. There's a little bit of time for Bo to try to poke in. But with this small of an army, are you just giving away a Templar at this point? I think so. Diving in. Going to snipe one of these Templar. He's going to go after another one here. He will get that really good control by Conan. That is not easy to do. But he gets two Templar with just 12 lings. Yeah, this is a weird army split from Boa, sending like couple zealots, couple goons and three templars to the top right. Maybe he was looking to intercept some um, drone transfer or something like that. Mm, but he's not using his entire army. Most of his army is just protecting the third base from coming up. And the third base, so he's playing very defensive mode. Very defensive Conan, taking a bunch of bases here now. I think that we're going to see bullets, yeah, go fully into defense and try to hit some storms on key drone areas while he macros up here and gets into that 200-200 army before he pushes again. I saw a shuttle, but I'm not sure where it's at now. Might be down in the bottom center. There it is. It's heading out on the map over towards the top right. If he gets a big storm on a bunch of drones in that top right, maybe he can uh, buy some time enough to get this 200-200 max army out and break one of these positions but they're all looking very strong right now for conan and we're very close to having some uh dark swarm out on the map here which makes things just that much harder here comes that drop into the top center he's dropping what is it dts oh i was expecting uh storms here but dt is going to be sent in and with the hydras already present i mean how much damage are we actually going to get the drones get pulled away immediately and there are some more hydras here to fight so i think he's going to be able to handle this he could go after the hatchery but yeah i don't don't think he's going to get that either bunch of links pop out everything dies pretty good defense here from conan yeah he, he looks tight everywhere he didn't lose too many drones and it was still pretty expensive drop <coughs> three dark templars and uh, uh cost a lot and he lost like i don't know eight maybe ten drones so i would say it's it was fine defense from lady Conan. well this cannot be allowed to happen look at what Bo is trying to do right now take a base in the top left hand corner uh potential to split the map in half this game and conan he has to get out here and actually get on the aggressive he's done enough defending at this point he's got uh, a pretty good sized army he's got a very nice economy going uh, but we cannot allow more bases to be taken here by the Protoss player. Otherwise, it's just going to become a battle of attrition, which is never where you want to be as a player, uh, as the race that uh, has less uh, efficient units. Uh, the Storm is just going to be super efficient. Reavers are going to be efficient. Uh, everything for the Protoss is going to be hyper efficient, whereas you're going to be throwing away a lot of units to try and break any of these positions. And right now, Conan just... Sitting here, waiting. He's got 195 supply. He should be just about ready to push up to that top left, but I don't know if he even knows about it. He's got some, like, botting units on the high ground, but it doesn't seem like he really knows that there's a base being taken there on the low ground at the natural. I guess he's not expecting that Boa will expand so quickly, and here we have the, the attention taker, like, Conan is focused on defending this position, so he's not even thinking about counter attacking at this moment, at least. But he is plaguing those units so well 
have a, such a big, uh, such a great trades. So much damage has been dealt over here. No, great opportunity there to take a huge plague, actually. But he, instead, he throws down Dark Swarm, uh, and the Lurkers just get stormed. So, a little bit of a missed opportunity there. Here, he's gonna see it. He's gonna see it. Yeah. There it is. Okay, he knows. He knows. Okay, pressure is on now for Conan. You can see he's immediately sending army across the map. He he has to get over here and prevent this from going up. Otherwise, this is gonna become a battle of, a, like I said, attrition and. Uh, pro possibly like a 30 minute game, 35 minute game. Yeah, but we have three high tempers with full energy, even with the amulet. So it's going to be so easy to defend for, for Boa if he will only start casting the storms. There we go, one Templar snipe. A great snipe there for Conan, but more Templar gonna come down here. Great snipes again! Very, very good stuff. Uh, however, the army will be clean. And it's looking more and more like Boa's going to hold this base. I want to see uh, robotics facilities on that high ground as well. Here comes a shuttle. Well, it's got nothing in it. Or no, maybe it does. Wait, Templar? Do we have Templar in here? Right, I'm used to watching from uh, replay, but here we are live with the storm. So <laughs> many kills on that storm. Oh my god, and all the Hydras too walking in as well. That was really, really rough. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, play by Boa. He's playing it so slowly. He don't want to rush it. He is confident in his skills that if the game will go long enough, he will be able to have the possibility to make better army, better moves, uh, better storms maybe in the long run. Not a lot of defenses down at the bottom left, and I think he's going to take advantage of that. Just see, just a few cannons. One Dark Swarm here kills this base, so yeah. immediately going to move forward here. Ling's going to jump on top of these cannons. Lurker's going to move into position to uh, hold back any reinforcements. This is a really nice move by Conan. He is putting a lot of his Lurkers on top of each other, though. Reaver's coming out here to help with the defense, and just pure Lurker. Not going to be able to handle those. Just backing up again and again here. Boa getting himself into a better position to, to take out this Lurker-heavy army. Um, but meanwhile, this Nexus is likely going to go down. Great storms here, just uh, hitting some of these lurkers. There we go. Picks off the remainder, and this base will be held. Although a lot of the probes did end up falling here. Yeah, we can see the supply advantage goes to JD Conan right now. He is macroing very, very nicely. Despite losing those drones over here, he still has plenty of money. And, like... It now depends how well you split your army because now Protoss is stretched um, for entire map if he wants to defend top left and, and bottom, like middle right. Um, I like the Reaver and he already has no Reavers, no, no scarabs, no scarabs though. He's oh. being a little bit um, a little bit lax on yeah. this defense. You can see one Templar just sitting out in the front. That's three storms that could be used to help defend this base. He will try to run back up here. Gotta get that into a defensive position and start making some scarabs because what he really needs to do is just hold that base. He is starting to counterattack here into the top right. This will take a lot of the attention away from Conan for a little bit. But, um, oh my gosh, he actually just goes after the observers there. That's a little bit funny. Instead of going for the shuttles, uh, those reavers are going to be a real problem here. The Nidus getting a storm doesn't hurt the building. Can he pick it off? Can he get the Nidus? I think he is going to shut down Conan over here in the top right. That is a huge move for Boa. Finishing off this base right now, and he's just defending in top left. I think that this is this is maybe the death knell of Conan here. Yeah, it seems like he, he, he definitely needs so to something. Yeah, I, I'm wondering, he still have a, like equal supply, but, but he have a problem with dealing with this army. This army is relatively small, but it's so powerful. So many High Templars, we had four rivers in here. I guess killing this base is a must do, but even after killing this base, I think this is still advantage for Boa. Absolutely, and that's so many Templar. Um, maybe with a bunch of Hydras coming up here, he can actually kill all those Templar. Uh, oh my, oh my God! So many Templar here trying to run out. Got to spread the uh, Hydras. Don't allow them all to die to just a couple of storms and kill every single Templar. That's so much value. 
for just a small number of units. He's going to try and push over here towards the center left as well. Cut off another base for Boa, but Reavers are going to be helping out a lot. You can't target down the Reaver underneath the Dark Swarm, unfortunately, for Conan. So that Reaver is just going to be juggled in and out of the shuttle and uh, return to safety here. Uh, doing a great job with just the pure Reaver defense. And this base somehow survived, by the way. How did that happen, Zero? We've yeah. got more Reavers coming in now. I don't um, know. Some Lings, some Hydras. He's going to try and save this. A massive wave of drones just pops out, but I think he's going to go a little bit north and just kill this hatchery. Yeah, especially with the up attack upgrade, those buildings are dying so quickly. Um, so I like this move from Boa, but he didn't transfer probes to the top left. Um, and he lost a lot of them in this in this base in the um, in the middle. So I'm wondering how many probes he have left uh, to mine from. Maybe he is missing a couple. But I like this move from him being annoying because JD Connor is mined out in the initial three bases. Oh. That's so frustrating. You see those little lurkers and hydras is caught over at the center right. They're just not able to move and. Um, I, you know, one thing I don't see at all here from Boa is anti-air. He's building pure Zealots and Templar and oh, yeah. Reaver. So if we just build a few uh, Scourge, maybe a couple of Mutas, we can kill all of these uh, Reavers and Shuttles. And, I mean, that's going to help out the situation dramatically. With Conan, he does get the base up in top right. Mining, once again, it's not optimal, but... It looks like he's going to stabilize here. Still, this favors Boa because he has the top left-hand corner. I don't know about the probe number, though. Like you were saying before, a probe number might be low. No, it's looking pretty good, actually. Not bad. Uh, we could definitely pump out some more probes here pretty quickly with this number here. of... Ah, there they are over at the natural. Looks like this uh, reaver uh, couple is going to go down. They say their farewells, uh, <laughs> holding hands here. You know, going down into the deep, both of them taking the taking the loss there. That's um, that's a great pickoff for Conan. But can he save this base? No, just gonna have to run for it. Doesn't have lurkers in position at the top of this ramp either. But with this number of lurkers, I don't think he can break here. But if Reavers come through, there's the scourge finally making their way into the front. Is he gonna go for the uh, shuttles here? He kind of goes for them, but he leaves one alive. If he was to kill all of the observers right now, he could actually hold this, but he doesn't. And the lurkers will just go down immediately. Oh, dude, this is this is not good, man. We're going to get some uh, DTs up here as well. And the potential to lose some more bases right now. Conan, what is he bringing up here? I, it looks like something flying. Is he actually bringing... Okay, I thought he was bringing up some... Uh, Mutas finally, but it wasn't. It was just a bunch of Scourge. It picks off that one shuttle, and it looks like he will clear this. How many drones did he save, though? Oh, not too many, and he's still mining only from this one base over here where Protoss is mining from three bases and have so much gas income that Boa can make attacks like this forever. Despite it didn't look so efficient because it was like four rivers, four Templars, one Dark Templar, but still he was able to deal so much damage to the Lurkers and buy so much time with it. So JD Conan needs to stabilize, needs to slow down right now, start mining from free bases and just expect that he will have a better trades because right now his income is so low that it's impossible to keep up with like uh, exchange for exchange uh, battle. Well, he's doing a great job despite being at this wild disadvantage here. 137 supply to 148. Only 10 supply behind the Protoss that's getting uh, into such an efficient army here uh, by just trading like l small groups of lings running up and sniping templars is a great way to do it oh this storm though losing all these hydras there on that high ground it's so rough i don't think he's going to be able to save the base over here at the okay that's actually dead already never mind that was killed by reavers earlier um lurker's going to come to the ramp here it's a little bit unfortunate he's not already in position but he will be able to pick off. Oh, he only got one of the observers. Uh, spending both the, re the um, Scourge there onto a single observer. And now he has to focus that one down. He gets it. Okay, he gets the other observer. Now the Lurkers can deal their damage without fear of being focused down by Zealots and Archons. And it looks like Conan going to hold. But again, this is a split map situation. Like, we're watching Conan desperately cling on to a bad position. Because <laughs> even if he does manage to hold this base... 
Uh, we are going to have those uh, two bases in the top left in the split map where uh, this is going to be very hard for him. Now getting one of the first... I, I mean, this is the first snipe on a shuttle that we've seen before everything got unloaded, which is a big uh, turn here of events for Conan. It's, it's looking good for him when he can snipe those... Uh, Reaver shuttles before they actually come down, but so many units are down at six o'clock. How much supply do we actually have down here? I feel like Conan's not paying attention to this or something. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, he is starting to move stuff from there, but that's that's a ton that's just not being utilized right now. Yeah, exactly. That he badly needs to save this base on the top right. I understand that he feels oh this storm. Okay, it wasn't as bad for us. It could have been, but yeah. It would be better to send a couple units to defend because the top right have bigger priority than the than the mid 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 uh, bottom mid. Ooh, this plague here on the reavers is so important to get that plague off. And once he gets the plague, these reavers will die super super fast. Doesn't manage to target them down uh, just yet, but Ling's even can take these things out. Look at how fast that thing goes down while wow, he picks it up at the last second. Just about picked that. Uh, Reaver off though and with 2 HP basically a love tap will do it here to finish off this Reaver here we go just trying to look for one more kill I just do pop out at the right time though just focusing that down um, should be a quick work there it is it goes down and he will secure this base oh man we're gonna go really really late here guys this this is gonna be a crazy game buckle in strap yourself down to the seat here guys we're going all the way we're going the distance here between these two yeah really Kona is doing such a good job winning those small small fights some small battles and now he will be mining from three bases again so his macro will be definitely um kicking in right now or oh, even even finding time for the counter attack to not allow boa to take this base it would be the end of the it would be nightmare for him to allow boa to take even additional base Absolutely. Do we have any more air units here for Conan? He's got to uh, make sure not to skimp on Scourge. There we go. Scourge popping out here. He's got a lot of gas, so no reason not to build those right now. Uh, if you could just get a couple snipes on a couple of uh, flying units here, you just, just go for that shuttle. No, he's not going to get it. He does have enough for Plague here. He can throw that down on a bunch of Zealots right now. He does get that down. Uh, the Zealots get on top of the units, though. The Hydras are going to fall, and he will be pushed back. Here comes those Scourge. If he can just get that shuttle, I tell you, it makes such a big difference. Um, oh, he gets the Observer, and he'll get the shuttle most likely as well. The Reaver does get dropped out, but this is not looking good for uh, Boa. He's pushing in in kind of a haphazard way, losing a lot of his units, and Conan, again, just trading very, very well with small groups. You cannot push in here with no observers. These Reavers are stranded. Yeah, he might be even able to intercept this shuttle. Oh, so close. So, so close. Two more Reavers make it to the front line. He needs to get a plague on this before he engages it. Coming in, just attacking with Hydras and Lings is a recipe for disaster. Okay, he's going to go for it regardless. I think probably everything will die. Oh, he gets the sec he gets the shuttle. That's huge. That had another reaver in it. So he gets three reavers here and now another shuttle coming forward with potentially two more. Where are the scourge right now? Build some mutas, Conan. Just like two, three mutas is gonna make a, a kind of a nightmare here for Boa who has no anti-air. Yeah, exactly. You're right. This is what I was thinking when I was looking at this army. Pure zealots plus pure reaver plus shuttles. Couple mutas and it would gain some incredible value, but still Conan is holding on very, very strongly and Boa is mined out in the 9 o'clock position now, so he is mining from two bases uh, and suddenly it seems like JD Conan is buying enough time to hold on in this game, despite losing the top right, almost losing the top right earlier. Looks like Boa wants to push through here with pure Storm and Zealot, uh, with no observers at all. It's going to cost a ton of Storms just to break through this front line of Lurker defense, but he's slowly doing it here. He's still got quite a few Zealots left. I haven't seen any Defilers for quite some time. That would be really good against this huge clump of Zealots at this point. Um, just one single Plague on that is gonna make them so much weaker. Here comes some more Templar. Can he get the Snipes here? I'm throwing down Storms on top of the eggs right now. 
Um, but here comes one more observer. He's gonna snipe it, but he gets it. Great defense here from Conan. He's gonna push everything back once again. What a game from those gentlemen. Really, really decent stack up. Um, and I'm very impressed. I think Boa is like throwing, throwing too many units so far, and it would be maybe better to be a little bit more passive from now on and try to play it out slowly because he is building a bunch of zealots but he is losing them so quickly Conan is so efficient with all the trades so I guess Boa should play the typical Protoss player style which is building a big ball of units which is unkillable and then try to attack it. Ooh, Storm trading very very well against a huge clump of links. Has Conan come out? Uh, a little bit too early here trying to take the center of the map. He will burrow lurkers and Hydras are supporting. A lot of these zealots just go down immediately. You could get every single observer here. Three, four observers. Yeah, three of them are going to escape. And we've got a couple of shuttles, probably full of reavers here, uh, ready to make another play, but I don't think that Conan can break anything. He might just want to take another base over there at the 12 o'clock. Yeah, that would be a smart, smart, smart thing to do. Try to take another base, because if you will take... Like you, 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 there are three bases which are untaken on this map, and for Zerg to be able to play it out, he needs oh this looker, uh, but he needs to take two out of three of them. So not allowing Boa to take this one and this one, and taking two bases, I guess would be fine for him long term, um, and that's what he's doing. Yeah, he's gonna grab that base. Good choice here by Conan. Some. Scourge are ready to connect with this. If he actually gets these shuttles, it's going to be huge. He gets them both. Huge, huge kills here. More lurkers coming up, or more more hydras coming up, but the lurker eggs are going to be targeted. Four lurkers go down while in the eggs there. Really, really rough for Conan. Can he actually hold this base? Now there's more zealots coming up, and the three reavers are going to finish off that morphing hatchery. He will back away. Good push here by Boa, but his... Reavers are stranded. I don't see any uh, defilers here. What happened to all the defilers uh, that were being made earlier? He was, okay, there we go. He has one. Yeah, um, we really one do need to see. Yeah, we do need to see some more uh, plagues going down on some of these units. Oh, the Hydra flank gets stormed. The Reavers are going to be able to hold everything back. These three eggs are going to end up getting taken down, but the plague finally does come through. He gets it on that Reaver. River here very very low now and the army is getting completely surrounded Conan looping around the sides here is eventually going to be able to take this army out but uh, it's just another uh, trade in a long series of trades and a very long um, turf war here between these two players a very long and drawn out uh, war of attrition between these two and I'm not sure who's winning at this point, do you? Yeah, me too, me neither. I, I think both of them still have a shot in this game, especially that Boa wants to oh, secure the, the bottom mid base. Those are excellent this plays. Seems... Oh, gets a lot of Templar here. That was an amazing number of Templar kills for just that small group of Hydras. Uh, catching them in the middle of the map. Great moves from Conan. It's so easy to just sit back passively uh, here as the Zerg player and not look for those little skirmish engagements in the middle of the map, but Conan is doing a great job. He's going to get this denial again as well. Just focus down the Nexus and he should be able to get it. He's not doing that. I think that the Reavers will actually take this out. He will save that base for now. Conan cannot allow that to stand, and I think that Bo is just going to take this high ground and, and wait for Conan to make a move. Yeah, especially that Conan needs another base uh, right now because he's mined out in the, in the bottom. <laughs> that was a decent storm. Oh, man. What a storm there. And he gets rid of the Filer as well. That's really painful. Oh, nice snipe, though, on that uh, Reaver. The shuttle there goes down with the Reaver inside. There's only one Reaver left. There's quite a few Lurkers here, but the Zealots, they haven't been plagued uh, That with that one defiler i mean he was hoping for a good plague there if he'd gotten one on all of those zealots there's no way he could have pushed through uh, on top of these lurkers right now but unfortunately for him he just didn't get it he gets another plague here but this time it's much much weaker just hitting one zealot there mostly archons and templar get 
hit by that. So you can easily morph that, morph those Templars into Archons, and they will have that shield. The, arm, the, the health overall doesn't really matter, but he gets a counterattack. He kills the base over here. Wow. Conan surrounding this now with a bunch of Hydras coming up from behind. He will be able to clear everything. Focusing down the Archons is a great choice. He gets them immediately, and now the Zealots will go down inevitably here. Is Conan actually doing this? It's so close. He hasn't been able to establish another base, but Bo is quickly running out of minerals now. This is this is getting low here very, very soon. He will need another base. Yeah, both the, both of them actually need another, another base, but usually in this, those situations, Protoss is, um, is having an advantage because they have a Templars, they have those very, very efficient gas units. And thank you, Mr. Eritosis, for the rights. We have 1,000 viewers. Whoa, what a snipe. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you, that Mr. Eritosis. That was Artosis. huge. Good games, and we have Artosis' face on the chat, so now we know that the, uh, Mario and Luigi arrived. <laughs> oh, we have three Oh, mutas. there we go, finally! He was there listening. Is, the mutas. The mutas come out in the very end here. They're going to be... Oh, no, 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 no. We cannot allow these to all just die like this. So many storms getting cast on top of the Reavers, in fact. Oh. Um, that's all the storms, truly. But now he's going to make a bunch of Archons, and this is going to remain a powerful army. Can Conan get in here and actually kill that Reaver uh, before Boa is ready here? He could get a Plague on this, too. The Plague would be huge. No! Denied! That Denied. is really, really rough. Losing that uh, Defiler before the Plague goes down. Uh, I don't know if he can actually take this army now. This is such a small group of Hydras, and... Lings are coming up from the south, but Hydras are getting surrounded here. He's going to dive on top of the Templar, going for them right now. He picks off two. He should be able to get a third as well, trading out these Hydras for quite a few Templar. Pretty decent trade by Conan. A lot of drones just sitting idle down here uh, in the bottom center now, and more Muta is going to pop out. I don't see any more Reavers right now, but... These are going to be very useful at sniping Templars in this late, late stage of the game with very little anti-air. Uh, I think this is a great move by Conan, even though these don't have any upgrades at all at this point. Still a really, really sick play by him. Could actually go after Observers too. Yeah, he will go after Observers. If he just kills all the Observers here, it's just such a gas investment to rebuild all those. You can see that 5 Miras can't one-shot the probe with all the upgrades. Uh, on the pros, but I think in the long run, um, Conan will be the one. If if no one will take the base, Conan will be the one who will have more minerals left because we can see Boa almost being mined out in the top left, so he badly needs additional base. On the other hand, it seems like he have the units to to make it. To, to yeah, it seems it. like he will. He will be able to take this base, um, Conan. Not really getting too much out of these mutas right now. He's setting up for a big around here on Boa's army and to potentially try and come up here to break this. He needs uh, defilers. He needs plague on this army. It's so zealot heavy here with the reavers involved as well. And we need to get snipes on those and the only way to really do that is to get plague on the reavers first so that you can jump on them really quickly and finish them yeah. off uh, before they start to really deal their damage. But he just doesn't have a defiler out here right now. I'm a bit worried for him. He's taking another base right now. This is just an insane game. We're going to go to a situation where both players are mining only at the top of the map at 12 o'clock. And there's no real other place to mine here on the, uh, aside from this base right outside of Boa's uh, main right now that Conan is denying. So this is going to be wild, dude. This is really, really going to come down to the wire here. Yeah, exactly, and we can see the harassment from Boa. I think JD Conan is not paying attention. Okay, now he is evacuating the drones, but how many kills we will have? Ooh, that was a big shot. Seven kills, ten kills now, but really drones are not the big concern at the moment for Conan. He's got plenty. Uh, see, he's not even got any patches over in the top right-hand corner anymore, so he can fully saturate... Uh, this base over here and this fresh base once that comes online uh, the the concern there is just picking off reavers and uh, boa throwing in reavers when there's a uh, bunch of mutas on the map he could have lost both or he could have lost the reaver and the shuttle and gotten no damage if conan had pulled back the drones far enough and fast enough 
So he's gonna go in here for a couple snipes on some Templar. One gonna go down, but that's all he can get for now. He will have to back off here with just four Mutalis remaining. We're finally adding some Dragoons back into this force. Get that anti-air going once again, but it's not like the Defilers have gone anywhere. They're still available. Let's see if Conan brings them out to get some good plagues on those Dragoons and throw down some Dark Swarm to deny their attacks. Yeah, he badly needs... This Defiler is this... He's giving so much value to Zerg army that you can't allow yourself to not have it at this stage of the game. And we can see that Boa is doing it very, very slowly. Ooh, almost loses that Reaver, but he keeps it alive. Hot pick up there. Yeah. And he's pushing through a bunch of Lurkers right now. And again, we don't have Defiler. No Defiler here means these Reavers are going to take a lot of punishment before they go down to the Hydras. It's really tough to just run up and snipe these down. Um, in this type of situation. He's gonna go for the shuttle. He gets the shuttle, but the Reavers are still alive. They can continue to push up this ramp. Not a lot of Hydras remaining. He's pumping up the last of what he can afford right now here. Conan barely holding on. He is gonna dive forward one more time. He gets one Reaver. He's gonna get the second. Cool. No second shot here out of that second Reaver and Conan going to hold for now, but he's got a skeleton crew of a defense over here at this base. Will Boa recognize it though and bring some units over there to actually punch through that area? That's just one more mining base for Conan right now. Uh, aside from this one at the top that's giving him any sort of income, Conan is holding for now. He's just 30 supply in the deficit here behind Boa. Another couple of Archons and some Reavers should be brought forward here to try and break this base one more time. I still don't see a Defiler here. Zero. Oh, what is going on? There it is. It that. pops out. And against the Dragoons and Archons, actually the Phylum is so great because they can deal damage under the Swarm, so... Oh, but we can see Boa realizing that the Phylum is there, he wants to snipe it. So we need something else to guys. consume. We need something else to consume here. Oh, the Ling is going to go under. He tried to consume that. He needs a, something so that he can actually throw in another Dark Swarm here. There we go. He throws the Dark Swarm. He gets a Lurker under there, of course. It's just a, a big target for the uh, Protoss to throw down storms though. And from the low ground, he can hit the drones here. Is this checkmate? Can he just deny mining here forever uh, from this position? It's starting to look that way. Running in, he's gonna try and snipe another Reaver. He will get the Reaver, but I don't think he can break the base. And without the shutdown on the mining here and the shutdown uh, on his mining over on this high ground, I think this might be uh, a checkmate situation. There's just no real moves left for Conan at this stage. I mean, he's still mining from two ish bases. Okay, we don't need, we can't count this one, but he's mining relatively well from the natural. But yeah, Boa is mining all oh, this play. This is what he needed earlier. But Boa is mining very, very healthy from this base. And that's why Protoss is so powerful. You can see how many time cars wow. he can build. And. What? Even with Plague, you can't get rid of that many Archons. It's uh, funny that he's not transitioning more of those into Archons right now because they're just so powerful in high numbers. It's almost impossible to hold them back with a, a f just a few well-placed storms, like two, three well-placed storms and a huge Archon army. You can break uh, just about everything from Zerg and it doesn't matter how much Plague you have. It doesn't matter how much Dark Swarm you have. Lings are coming in here for the counterattack. He's going to try and put pressure on this base right now, but they're just going to be met with storms, and it's a renewable resource here. Very green technology from the Protoss player. You can continue to throw those down endlessly into the future here, as long as you've got enough time to build up that energy. Yeah, you're right. I never thought about it, but uh, well, now when I think, actually, High Templar is a walking solar panel, right? <laughs> just to regenerate. Something right? like that. Yeah. <laughs> Not too expensive, and you can use it for a long time. Easy to break, but but pretty powerful. Very powerful indeed. More lurkers are coming up, but he needs a little buy a little more time. If he can snipe this observer, yes, he gets the snipe. Okay, there's another observer coming up. He needs one more snipe, and he can prevent the uh, Protoss from breaking up on the high ground. But he can't prevent dark or more storms from just hitting these drones. So, spreading out the lurkers here. Can Boa break this with the final attack? He's got a lot of storms ready here. Dark Swarm goes down on top of the Lings to try and buy a little bit of time here. The Lurkers are going to move forward under that Dark Swarm. We're so low on 
uh, everything here for Conan. Just 60 supply remains uh, to the 100 of Boaz. He tries to take down this base. Dude, I think he's just barely done it here. Boa finishing off this final mining base. Conan is just about mined out over there at the natural. He's got almost nothing left here. Just a couple of patches mining and everything is going to get taken down. He's able to mine off of one final base. And this is just a crazy, crazy way to end this game. 49 minutes long, guys quite the slog here for both players whoever wins this is gonna be tired for the next game that's oh, for definitely. sure and he will play most likely dandy uh, so also a hard opponent to play against after this so very interesting um, very interesting series but this is one of the best games in the entire season two of races championship this is so uh, so impressive play from both players guys if you if you missed the mid game of it it was so back and forward such a good game it's still good, but now Boa is having just too big of an advantage, and he's just finishing the game. It was so close for so long. I, I gotta say, the move to uh, the top center for both players, it really did favor Boa quite heavily. He was able to get onto that low ground and just storm onto the drones. If Conan had been able to mine off of that base, he would have been ahead in base he would have been on two base to the one base of boa and maybe could have taken this game he's still technically in this one he hasn't left the game yet but 26 supply to 125 this game is over yeah this game is over unfortunately he has 400 minerals so there is still some hope i guess for him he's sniping the observers but boa is still mining so it's not a problem for him to rebuild those um, those units and he can build bazillion of high templars every every turn despite the fact that he oh he's even taking this base gg from jay Nicola. there it is conan gets eliminated and boa will continue on going up against dandy in the next round